Hello, my beautiful, darling Cancer babies. I hope everybody is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. For those of you new to the channel, my name is Gina. This is a Cancerian-only channel. Cross-watchers are welcome. If you would like to check out my other channels, I do have a Leo and Virgo-only channel. I also have my main channel, Tarot of Light. The links for all of those are below. Readings can be vice versa. Flip it, twist it, reverse it to whatever way fits you and your situation. Please be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Click that notification bell so you know when my readings post and when the winners are announced. I do a monthly giveaway. Uh, winners are announced on the first of the month. Um, I give away two four question text readings, so hashtag um, readings for that. Um, I give away two $50 prizes, post a positive affirmation or something that you're grateful for um, with a green heart in the comment section to win that. I give away one mystery crystal box, so hashtag crystals for that. Um, cancer baby season is upon us. Happy birthday, my babies. Uh, I was doing a sale on tarot and oracle cards, but I sold out. I was doing a $10 sale on uh, phone readings, but I got overly booked. I can't take that anymore. So right now I'm open for text readings. Um, video readings are 20% off, and I still have... Um, I still have mystery crystal boxes on sale for Cancer Baby Season, $22.22. It's a decent sized box, guys. You get quite a few crystals for that. The link for that is below. For those of you who have been asking about my tarot tutorial, yes, it's still available. It's about two and a half hours long. Um, if you're looking to start a YouTube tarot channel or learning how to read tarot, you can check it out. The link is below. Um, Royal Rose Oracle is back in on my website for those of you who missed it the first time. And that's it, babies. Let's get popping. And I just ran over my foot. Lord. Oh my gosh, that hurt like hell. All right, Spirit, tell me about cancers, please. What do cancers need to know today? So we've got religious. We've got Cupid. We've got career. Tell me about cancer. And this is just how it always happens. We've got fantasy. We've got distant future. And we've got image. We've got yes. And we've got transform. So Cancer, things are changing in a really big way here, okay? So Cancer, what I'm seeing is you guys coming into your spiritual journey, okay? Um, some of you are just spiritual and you're learning how to ground your energy. You're learning how to meditate. You're learning how to do the Reiki. Um, you're learning how to come into your spiritual gifts, okay? Um, for others of you that are Christian, Muslim, Buddha, you're going to start really like reading and doing Bible studies and, and really trying to, um, so let me just try to explain what I'm trying to say here. Okay. Like for instance, you know, I'm Christian, so I'm just going to roll with that, but whatever religion you are. Okay. Um, you know, people have this impression that with Christianity, that it's nothing but rules. It's actually not the case. You know, uh, the new Testament states that, you know, you're, you're forgiven and all that other good stuff. It does give you direction though. Okay. It does give you direction. Um, if you don't follow those directions, you're still forgiven, but it does give you direction. So if you look at the Bible, it'll tell you, you know, don't be with someone that's evenly yoked. Um, a man needs respect. A woman needs love. It'll give you all these little clues on how to, you know, find love in the correct way or how to be a better person or how to operate on a better level. So if you're just spiritual and you don't have religion, then you're dipping into that. If you're Muslim, Christian, Jewish, whatever, you're, you're digging a little bit more into your Bible, the, the, what is it? Quran, the Torah, I don't know, all the books. Okay. All the things you're, you're digging deeper into that. You're trying to take a more spiritual route in life. It's, it's a little bit of an energy of, Welp, 
I've tried doing it my way, <laughs> okay? I've tried doing shit my way, and it's just not working. So let me try to, you know, kind of look into a different avenue and maybe follow the advice, you know, follow the advice from the Bible, follow the advice from the Quran or the Torah or all the things that are out there, okay? I feel that cancer right now, you are very career motivated. You're worried about your money. You're worried about going to school. You're worried about, you know, getting your things right here. Okay. Um, but I feel like that's going to change. I feel like that's going to change cancer. I feel like right now you're more concerned about material things in your life because you can control material aspects. You know that if you want a certain car, you got to fix your credit. You got to come up with that down payment. That's something that you know that if you put work into, it'll pay off, right? Whereas with love, you can find somebody and put all this work into them uh, just to fix them up and give them to someone else, another dude or another girl, okay? And they can, you know, you fix them up and send them to their forever homes, right? So I, I feel like you're more focusing on the material things that you want in life. If you want to go travel, you're saving up for vacations. If you want a car, you're saving up for that. If you want to start building up a 401k or getting yourself an RV to go travel the world, it's like you're working towards material goals because you feel that your time invested in these things is better spent, okay? I feel like you've got this, this fantasy for the future when it comes down to material things right now. Whether it's realistic or not, okay, you have that vision. You have that, some of you have that vision board thing up, you know. Cancer, this is when love comes and smacks you right, right in the head. Boop. Okay, this is when, this is when love, when you're totally not focused on it, where you get hit here, okay. This is where you get hit. It says, uh, Cupid, intense, love at first sight. I knew you were the one from the moment I laid eyes on you. I'm high on our love. So Cancer, you're trying to steer away from this. Okay. And it says distant future here. So I feel like by the end of the year, you're, whatever you're going through right now, you're going to put it behind you and you're going to start focusing on things that you know, if you put your time and energy into, it will reap some type of a reward home renovations, uh, accessorizing your car. Um, this could even be with image here. It could be you going to the gym, you saying, you know what, I'm dedicated to losing 50 pounds right now and I'm going to do it. And you know that if you diet and you put in the hard work, you'll lose that weight. Um, you know, by the end of this year, I'm going to have a thicker, thicker than a snicker booty. Watch me, watch me work these glutes. Okay. So all that time and energy that you would put into a man and a woman, you're about to take that shit out on your ass. Okay. <laughs> you're about to, you know, do those squats, do, you know, run, stop, you know, breaking certain addictions, not eating bad. Um, you know, stop smoking, stop drinking so much, develop a skin routine for my guys out there. I don't know, going to the gym, making more money, uh, fixing up a, a, a car or a motorcycle, or I don't know what you guys do. What the hell? I don't know. I just work here. What do I know? Okay. Um, but some of you guys are just taking up something that, you know, it's like going to school for some, just, if I put the work in, something's going to come out of it. Right. That's going to change. Yes. And transformation that is going to change big time. Okay. Uh, by the end of this year. Okay. And let me just take a look on this distant future card and see how long we're talking here. Spirit, tell me about distant future for cancer. What, what is the time frame here? Ooh, by the end of this month, have divine, have faith. Divine timing is in play. Okay. So cancer, I think that many of you right now, you're going through something. You're going through some type of shift, uh, releasing a job, releasing a love interest, releasing people, places, and things that just don't, you know, serve your energy anymore. Things that are sucking you dry, things that are taking your energy and not giving anything back. It's almost like you're just releasing the things that are wasting your time. And I think that spirit is telling you to have faith here because by November, your life is going to look completely different. Okay. I think you're saying here, it's time to take a break. It's just the wrong time for love. Okay. It's, it's the wrong time for love. Something may have left your life in the month of March and it hasn't moved since time is frozen. Okay. 
this winter coming up between this winter and next June, okay, your life is going to change dramatically. Timing is much farther in the future. Give it time. It's in the works. Okay. Uh, I feel like you're, you're going in a different direction here by the end of the year, maybe focusing on other things that are worth your time and energy. And you are about to run into the one, the love of your life. Okay. So let's go ahead and pull some tarot. Spirit, tell me a little bit more about cancer, please. Tell me more about cancer. So we've got the five of wands and we've got the four of pentacles. We have the moon card, Pisces energy. Cancer, I think that like you're going to wake up and, and you just don't know what has come over you. All of a sudden you're waking up in a little bit more of a greedy and selfish vibe. Not, not in a mean way. Not in a mean way. It's just, you know what? I'm tired of, of all this competition in love. I'm tired of when I fall in love with somebody, I always have to worry about them leaving for other people. Um, I'm tired of my workplace and always having to compete and all the drama there. Uh, I'm tired of everybody needing something from me. And I think you're pulling back your energy. Uh, the moon card, you may be a little confused not knowing what caused this shift, but I feel like you're going quiet. You're, you're just going dead here. You're at nothing on social media, not picking up your phone. People are wondering about you. The hell's going on with cancer? What is going on with cancer? I feel like you don't want to be seen. I feel like, you know, your phone's on do not disturb. You don't want to be bothered. You're doing things for you at this point in time. Yeah, eight of cups. You're just, you don't care anymore. I don't care that you're broke. I don't care if you need a ride. I don't care if you want to go be with someone else, another guy or another dude. Uh, I, I don't care anymore. You know, that's the vibe that you're in. I just don't care anymore. Four of Pentacles. You know, I'm not getting anything out of this shit anyway. If it's a man or a woman that's tormenting you, it's kind of like, what am I doing? Why am I even fighting for you? You don't do shit for me. You know, what have you done for me lately? nothing, <laughs> you know? So it's like, you know, friends and family members, like I'm so sick of having to run for your people. What, what, if, what do you ever do to, for me? Nothing. You just give me nothing but a fucking migraine. You know, that's it. It's like, I don't want to do this anymore. Cancer. Okay. I don't like cancer. You're just like, I just don't want to do this anymore. King of cups, cancer. I think that you're, you're really controlling your emotions here. There may have been times where, you know, people tried guilt tripping you. Okay. Because I'm seeing the page of pentacles here, uh, the queen of pentacles. So cancer, I think that you sit above a lot of people in your life. You may be doing well financially. You may be the caretaker. You may be the one that fixes everyone's problems. You're the rock here. You're that person that always picks up the phone, always fixes the problems. Cap Captain save a ho galore. Okay. You got an MBA, Captain save a ho. <laughs> okay. So, I mean, a page of pentacles here. It seems to me like all these people around you, including love interests, they come off as very immature, very immature. You know what I'm seeing here, cancer with this queen of pentacles and this page of pentacles, like there's, there's a mommy vibe here. That's doing something, cleaning dishes, whatever. And the child comes and is like, mom, can you fix my toy? Mom, can you open this for me? Mom, can you do this for me? Mom, uh, we have a trip. Can you sign this for me? Mom, I need $20. Can you give this to me? And it's like, You've got quite possibly grown adults that are acting this way, you know, grown adults that are acting this way. Okay. Um, so cancer for some of you, this could be your children. This could be your love interest, friends, family. It's like, I am so tired of being captain save -a here. Cancer. I think that you're putting yourself first and you're, you're putting your time and energy into more materialistic things. Okay. You're putting your energy, and when I say materialistic, this could be, or or more, how do I want to put it, you know, more shallow things, I guess, you know, looks, money, vanity, buying things that you like, you know, um, doing things that you want to do, traveling, you know, you, whatever you've been dreaming for yourself that you were like, oh, I can never do this because, you know, my kids always need me, or this person always needs me, I can't travel, I can't do A, B, C, and D, you're doing it. You're doing it. 
Okay. I feel like you're sitting in queen of pentacles mode. You may feel older than what you are. You may feel yourself aging before your time, even if it's not on the outside, on the inside. Some of you are like 35 years old and you wake up in the morning feeling like you're 90, you know, and you're snapping out of that with that knight of wands energy. I see you looking good, taking care of your appearance, wanting to go out, wanting to see things, wanting to travel. Yeah. You know, there, there's an energy here of what does the future hold? What's out there? What can I accomplish? You know, King of Swords, Cancer. This is you stepping up to the plate, saying no to people, having boundaries, and also making plans to achieve things. See, look, the chariot here, Cancerian energy, making plans to go somewhere, to do something, to open that business, to go to school, to go to that cooking class, go to that art class, go see the Grand Canyon, go see the things that you've wanted to see, okay? Okay. So yeah, Ace of Wands. I mean, this is you maybe moving to a new location, opening a new business. Um, for some of you, you little freaks, for some of you, you're used to maybe only having sex when you're in a relationship. For some of you, you may try to just have a one night stand. For some of you, you're looking at these power people that have their life in order and they only go out and have some sexy time when they need it. And then they never call that person again because they don't want to get caught up in people's drama. Some of you, not all of you, but some of you may try doing that, just focusing on your own life. And when that need takes over, going out for a night, you know, fucking somebody in the backseat of a car and then going to live your best life the next day with no problems, no drama, no having to sit by the phone. Do they like me? Are they going to call me? Whatever. I don't care. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't care if they're texting me in the morning or if they like me or don't like me. I got off. I got mine. I don't care. I'm going, you know, to get myself a Louis Vuitton bag today, or I'm going to go fix up my car today. It, it's just, you know, you're looking for casual, simple, and you know, cancer, it's just like, you don't, you know, you don't really want that deep connection with people right now because it's always drama. It's always drama. People always need shit and you always feel called to fix people's problems. You know, with the six of wands here, Cancer, I see you happy just happy, you know, uh, being happy with the way you look. If you buy a new car or you're restoring a new car, you know, driving around in that new whip top down, just happy, excited, you know, uh, Chrome, what is it? Chrome spin it. What is that saying we used to have when we were young? You know, just, uh, I don't know, cancer. You're just happy. You're proud of the things that you're accomplishing. And with the devil card here, I do feel like there's going to be, uh, you know, a lot of people that are pissed about your decision here. Okay. <laughs> there's going to be a lot of people, you know, that are pissed about your decision here. Um, we've got Pisces energy, Capricorn energy, Sag energy, Cancer's energy. We got a lot of people that are not happy about this. Okay. They're hoping that with the Knight of Pentacles and the Three of Cups that eventually you'll change your mind and go back to who you used to be, okay? But I think that Cancer with the Judgment card here, you made a decision and the Judgment card is not the type of card uh, where you make a decision and backtrack. It's a major arcana. It's not the two of wands, the two of swords, the two of pentacles. No, 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 no. Uh, when the judgment card is here, it's like, I'm going to go try this other, I'm going to, I'm going to go try door number two. I'm going to go try this other path and see what happens. And cancer, you're loving it. You're loving it. And I don't see you snapping back to being people's freaking servant anymore. Okay. With the Hermit and the Six of Swords, Cancer, I feel like you're enjoying your own company. You're thinking about what you want to do next, where you want to go next, okay? What you want to do next and where you want to go next. Cancer, I think with the Hierophant and the Seven of Swords here and the Death card, your view on love is changing. You're realizing that the world is an ugly and evil place and people are only out to take. There is no such thing as, you know, tradition anymore. There is no such thing as, uh, you know, loyalty, honor, respect. Um, but I feel that you're reading about it. The Hierophant, again, could be a priest. It could be a wise person, wise words, okay? Uh, some of you are, again, getting into your spirituality, Buddha, uh, Christianity, whatever. You're, you're more in your spiritual realm here, and I feel like you have a beautiful type of inner peace, okay? And here we go. The Tower and the Two of Cups. Boop.
Okay. <laughs> the Tower and the Two of Cups. Aries, uh, Scorpio energy, Taurus energy. Yep. You're at the Starbies. You're ordering yourself a coffee. You go get your wallet. You hear somebody move next to you. You look up or you look down, depending on how tall you are. And uh, that's it. You're in love. I mean, this card here, love at first sight. Like you look at this person, you look at this person and you're like, fuck. Oh, fuck. <laughs> you know, it's like, that's it. It'll, all it's going to take is one look. One look. And it's going to fuck up everything that you've been doing. <laughs> One look. Okay. One look. Yeah. I feel like Cancer with the Lover's card, Gemini Energy, Two of Wands, and the Six of Pentacles. Okay. Shit pops off here. Okay. You start dating this person. You give them your number. You just can't help yourself. But you wait. You wait. Eventually, they're going to cheat. Eventually, they're going to stop calling. Eventually, that morning is going to come where I don't get the good morning sexy. Eventually, that night is going to come where they blow me off. Uh, eventually, they're going to get bored and go somewhere else. Okay? With the high priestess here and the seven of wands, eventually, their true secret personality is going to come out. And with the seven of wands, I will have an excuse to push this person away or they're going to ghost me and push me away. But nope, cancer, page of swords and the four of wands. Everything this person says they do, everything they say is the truth. And with the four of wands here, you may end up getting married. I feel like with the temperance card here and the, the ten of wands, it may annoy you. <laughs> <laughs> it may annoy you because it's kind of like your life was really good and you're like, oh my gosh, I, I, I just have to get this person out of my system. So let me date them. Let me wait for them to fuck up and then I can go my own way. But it's not happening. You're waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting. And uh, Cancer, this is the person that you manifested once upon a time. This is the person that you manifested once upon a time. And honestly, I think it's aggravating you a little bit because it's kind of like almost you want this person to mess up <laughs> so that you can go back to living your life uh, with the justice card, Libra energy. Um, I do feel like this person is going to do everything right. The Knight of Cups here and the Emperor. You're waiting to dip. You're just waiting for it. You're just, just give me one excuse. Get, just give me a reason. Just give me a reason. Okay. Just give me a reason and I'm out. Okay. They're not going to give you a reason, Cancer. Mm -mm. They're not going to give you a reason. And I think that you're, you know, the more you wait, the more you start to catch feelings, the more aggravated you're getting, you know, you're just waiting for this person to run back to an ex or you're, you're waiting for them to do something stupid, be in and out that you're waiting for the, you're waiting for the games to begin and it's not happening. And before you know it, you're walking up the aisle, like, <laughs> like, you know, before you know it, your wedding day is here. Before you know it, you're picking out colors for bridesmaids dresses. Before you know it, you're picking out tuxedos for the big day. Before you know it, you're on a plane to Vegas to go get married. And you're like, what is happening right now? You know, I, you know, I just wanted to go get myself a cup of coffee. How did I end up with someone else's last name? Like what, what is happening here? And cancer. This is how life works. As soon as you don't want something, right there, right in the head, okay? All right, let me do the Cancer and All 12 for Samira because I got I to gotta keep my babies happy. Okay, let's do a just a super quickie for Cancer and All 12, okay? Spirit, tell me Samira. I think that's 
S-U-M-A-I-R-A. How do you pronounce that? Sumeria, Samaria. I don't know. Girl, this is for you. Okay. <laughs> Spirit, tell me about cancer and all 12 signs, Aries to Pisces. If we're dealing with an Aries, the fool card, the knight of wands, they're a hoe. Leave them alone. Go home. Eat some cereal. Get some chicken nuggets. Leave this person alone. If we're dealing with a Taurus, the nine of wands and the star card, the Taurus wants this, but maybe they feel hurt or they feel like they hurt you too much. They would like to heal this, but maybe they feel like it's gone too far and they can't fix it. If we're dealing with a Gemini, we've got the queen of pentacles and the queen of cups. This person, had, there's two people in the picture here. Um, I don't know if they're in two different relationships or it's you and a sister, you and a mother, you and whatever, but there's two different relationships here. Yeah. Eight of swords. This is a Gemini that's stuck, not knowing what direction to go through, go to. If we're dealing with another cancer we've got the ace of pentacles and the four of wands guys some of you if you're dealing with another cancer expect a marriage proposal on your birthday or maybe you guys are buying a house or getting married i don't know if we're dealing with a leo we've got the king of wands and the two of cups this leo is in love with you in love and in lust with you okay if we're dealing with a virgo the nine of swords and the two of swords cancer if you're dealing with a virgo i think that this person is maybe scared that you don't love them anymore queen of swords two of swords and the nine of swords i think that this virgo is scared that maybe you've gone cold or gone numb or they're scared that they're good they're gonna lose you forever if we're dealing with a libra the seven of wands and the death card it is over and they don't care what you have to say you don't care what they have to say they no you could go get the moon and the stars and deliver them with some chicken nuggets or a pizza and I still wouldn't care okay that's that's the vibe here if we're dealing with a Scorpio the ten of swords and the strength card Cancer, if you're dealing with a Scorpio, this is someone that thought that they could overpower you and they're realizing that they lost. Yeah, this is someone that wanted to play some type of game or bring some type of pain into your life, uh, but they're losing. They thought that they were stronger than you. I don't know how or why or what you're doing here, but they're, yeah, this is someone that you see mind games. They wanted to bring some form of chaos into your life, but with the Ten of Swords, there, you know, the strength card, I don't know if it's your spirit guides or your guardians are too strong for this person that they've lost. If we're dealing with a Sagittarius, the five of pentacles and the queen of wands, this person has gone off to a third party or they're, they're not coming back. If we're dealing with a Capricorn, we've got the seven of swords and the hierophant. This person is married and getting their, their rocks off. Leave it alone. If we're dealing with an Aquarius, the magician and the sun card. Oh, guys, hold on one second. Okay, I'm sorry, guys. If we're dealing with an Aquarius, we've got the Magician and the Sun card here. This is someone that really wants to build with you, Cancer. This is a Magician that's hoping for you, praying for you. This is someone that really wants to be with you. If we're dealing with a Pisces, we've got the Wheel of Fortune and the Page of Wands. This Pisces may feel like you're the best thing that's ever happened to them, or they may tell you that you're everything that they've been praying for. Okay, that's what I got for you guys. I love you all so much, and I will see you soon. Take care.